Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Sprague, I'm from Stockton University, and today I will be discussing the Global Goal SDG 9 in the context of infrastructure in Cambodia, a country that over the past century has faced incredible hardships and needs globalized support of all of us to facilitate prosperity. So what is the ninth sustainable development goal? Well, uh, as you can see here, it is to build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. Uh, but what does that mean? So let's break that down a bit. So what do we mean when we talk about resilient infrastructure? Well, when we think of resilient, we think of something that will last a long time. So we want to build an infrastructure that is sustainable within the GDP of the nation it's built in, and that will last for multiple generations with an achievable level of upkeep. Allow me to build a bit of context for Cambodia's struggling infrastructure with a little bit of history. The Khmer Rouge was a tyrannical dictatorship led by Pol Pot in the 1970s, sorry, and was responsible for the killings of over a million people, specifically targeted towards the educated population. What you're seeing here is called the killing fields in Cambodia, where bodies were buried in mass and these giant graves. This is a photo that I took during my time in Cambodia, um, just to give you an idea of the scale that we're talking about here. So how does a society ravaged by a dictatorship prosper? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that it's extremely tough. The 1970s was not that long ago, and they're still recovering from this. This is recent history. So I've added in some statistics courtesy of savethechildren.org. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you is you know, the reality, I mean, one in 36 children die before their fifth birthday. 32% of children suffer from stunting growth due to malnutrition. 22% uh, of children are out of school. And 25% of girls struggles to read and write. Now, a large part of this is because of the mass genocide of people, specifically educated people. And in addition here, you're seeing that the monthly wage is only 192 US dollars according to tradeeconomics.com. So we're talking about extreme levels of poverty here. And what you're seeing here is a typical rural Cambodian village. I, I just took this picture going down the road. Further down the road on my way to a different town, you can see here that the road is completely flooded out. And as you can see here, this is a typical school bus, believe it or not. And this is in a larger city. Uh, that is a motorcycle with a large wagon attached to it full of students. Unlike what we may be used to here uh, in Cambodia, this is a typical supermarket. So there's just roads that are sectioned off with women and children and men selling their goods and trying to make ends meet because there's not much money to be made. So how can we help Cambodia? Well, we have a couple options. For starters, donations. What you're seeing here is the SaveTheChildren.org's website for Cambodia. There's a lot of great information here. And we've got three different ways of helping out in Cambodia. So we've got donations, and you can sponsor a child, and you've also got the gift catalog. Now, this is just one of many different organizations that are seeking to support Cambodia. What you're seeing here is the Give to Asia Foundation, the website. Uh, you can scroll down here and see some of the needs, food security, nutritious diets, livelihood support. Uh, and this is especially true during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now more than ever, their infrastructure needs serious help. So let's recap. Cambodia's infrastructure is suffering due to long battles with oppressive regimes torn apart by war and genocide. The infrastructure of Cambodia is in need of immediate attention and support. Donations can be made through a variety of different mediums and websites. Two websites in particular that are trustworthy are Support the Children and GiveToAsia.org. You can donate through cash donations by sponsoring a child or through various other mediums, such as gift donations. Thank you for watching. I hope you consider donating to building a resilient infrastructure, promoting inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and fostering innovation.